Greetings, in this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to connect your Rocky Play to your Wi-Fi network using a computer. In this case, my Mac Mini. But, quite frankly, pretty much everything I'm about to do on my Mac can be done with a PC running Windows, or even a tablet or a smartphone without using either of the two Rocky apps. To be sure, the preferred method of getting your Rocky connected to your wireless network is to use the Rocky apps, but this method does provide you with access to a few extra handy features not available yet in both apps. Okay, the first thing you need to do is connect your Rocky to power and your audio system using the cables included in the package. If you look closely next to the audio in jack, you will see a small power button. Before you actually power up your Rocky, please be sure to lower the volume on your speaker a bit. Now, go ahead and press down and hold the power button until the LED lights up on top of the Rocky. If you, the LED is, is green, but with different uh, colored covers, your mileage may vary. I've successfully started hotspot mode. So far, so good. But now things are going to get a little technical, so I'm going to encourage you to follow along first before diving in. When we say started hotspot mode, this is just another way of letting you know there is another wireless network available for, to you in addition to your current wireless options. For example, let's see what wireless networks are now available to me. Remember, I'm using a Mac for this demonstration, so how I access the list of available wireless networks will look different to folks using their tablets, smartphones, and or PCs. But the general concept of finding your Rocky in a list of available wireless networks is going to be the same, regardless of the device you're using. One way to see the list available uh, of available wireless networks on a Mac is to wander up here to this icon in the menu bar. When I click on it, you can see that I'm currently connected to the wireless network called Civility. As we look down the list, our goal at this point is to locate a wireless network beginning with the word Rocky, followed by a bunch of characters. If you don't see one, then try cycling the power on your Rocky and be patient because sometimes it can take a moment or two for the list to be updated. In a moment, I'm going to select the first Rocky network in the list, and it's going to prompt me to enter a default value, a default wireless password, which is 87654321. If all goes well, my computer will no longer be a node on my home wireless network, in this case, Civility, but now will be connected to the Rocky wireless network. And I'm going to click join. And there's no fanfare or mysterious voices to announce the switch. So I'm going to go back to the list of wireless networks to be certain the Rocky Wireless Network is the one I'm connected to. And sure enough, this check mark tells me that's the one I'm connected to. And at this point, believe it or not, uh, I could start playing music from my Mac to my speakers using any one of several apps on my computer over AirPlay. However, um, I promised to help you configure Rocky so uh, is such, such that it connects to your Wi-Fi network. So let, let's soldier on here. Now, without getting into too much techno babble, the important takeaway here is in order to complete this task, we need to navigate to the control panel or configuration page located on the Rocky. And to do that, we will use a web browser. As I shared previously, this method will work for almost any of the wireless devices you intend to use with the Rocky, like your laptop or smartphone, since they all have a web browser. Just to be clear, it's important to understand that by joining the Rocky wireless network, my computer is now using a different IP address than assigned to it then signed to it by the Rocky device than it was using a, f uh, a few minutes ago when it was connected to the Civility Network. Also of note here is the Rocky is completely isolated from the internet, so any device connected to it, such as my laptop, iPhone, iPad, or a desktop computer, 
cannot go through the Rocky to get to the interwebs. In the spirit of full disclosure, my Mac is also connected via Ethernet cable to my wired, wired network, which in this case would allow me to stream music from Pandora or Spotify to my Rocky. Okay, so using my web browser, I'm going to go over here and create a new tab, and I'm going to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.1, which is the default uh, address uh, for the web for the for the Rockies Rockies internal web server. So I'm going to hit return, and there it is. Now, I'm just going to take a moment to scroll up and down a bit, kind of give you an idea of what's on this page. There's a place for uh, naming your Rocky, uh, the network configuration information, switching to standalone hotspot hot mode, uh, turning the voice on and off. Uh, firmware updates can be accomplished here, as well as rebooting your Rocky. You can do a factory reset, and this is pretty cool. You can blink the light on the LED on the on the Rocky to help you identify which which Rocky you're actually trying to configure. I'll turn it back to normal. Uh, so let's go back up to the top here, and this is where we want to concentrate. I'm going to name my Rocky. Uh, let's see, Green Machine, and then I want to go down here, and uh, I need to select my home network router from the SSID list. And this could be a, a variety of different uh, um, forms. It could be a drop-down menu or a scroll, um, a scrolling wheel of names. You're going to um, let's see. I'm selecting uh, civility, and I'm going to type in my password. And before I click the Save Setting button, I am going to make sure that I've selected the, cr the proper security mode. I'm on WPA2, and that's what it is. So I'll go ahead and click Save Setting. And it pops up this little um, dialog box here, an uh, alert box, and it says saving data and rebooting your Rocky. And I can't refresh this page after the reboot. And that's because I'm no longer going to be connected to the Rocky. I'm going to be kind of in limbo because I'm supposed to go back to my civility uh, network. I've successfully connected to your Wi-Fi router. And that's a good sign. So I'm just going to close this window out, and I'm going to go back over here to my little drop-down for my um, available networks and click Connect Back to Civility. And I want to double-check to make sure I really am, and sure enough, I am. And you'll see that the Rocky is still here, but it's not really going to stay there because it's no longer in hotspot mode, so it's no longer going to be broadcasting that's an available network. All right. Now, with any luck, we should be able to stream music to our Rocky. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go to iTunes, where I've queued something up. And let's see if we have... Oh, look at that. I can go to um, Rocky Green. I'm going to select that as my AirPlay, as my, my um, output device. And we'll start playing music. that's enough of that and let's minimize this so we were successful in accomplishing getting our Rocky um, connected to our, our to my, my wireless network so that's great so um, there are a couple of caveats I want to share before I sign off uh, with wireless stuff happens if uh, your Rocky fails to connect to your wireless network the first time uh, please don't panic just switch back to the Rocky uh, Wi-Fi network the way I did uh, previously and work your way through the steps again. Now, sometimes cycling the power on the Rocky and other devices that you have involved here uh, between attempts can, can help, help reduce some of the challenge or correct some of the challenges. Also, uh, please note that other videos as well as tips and tricks uh, abound in the Rocky forum, so feel free to seek additional help when needed. Of course, enjoy and Rocky on. Thanks for listening.